Are we going to see a miracle tonight or foam rubber trickery? Lost worlds or lost minds? When Dr. Maple White disappeared, Father and Uncle George set out to find him. The real story begins in the office of the London Times. Challenger now agrees with the theory of retrogenesis, at least in principle. Get as much background on Maple White as you can. Oh, yes, sir. I'll do my He's best. always the better reporter for the good Listen, story. Listen, boss, just give the assignment to Sam. I don't mind. I quit. You haven't heard the last of Sam Browning. I'd like you to meet Ed Malone from the Times. Oh, yes. We've met before. Good evening. It's wonderful to see you again. Thank you. Uncle George tells me you've been chosen to accompany us. Some at least had a mishap in the lab, sir. Not again. Excuse me, Elaine, Mr. Malone. Certainly, sir. Elaine, please understand, I had nothing to do with the Bunny Bixler articles. Well, that's not what Bunny said. I better go see what my father's done to the lab. I'm looking for Captain Sean O'Brien. Does he live here? Yeah, if you can call that living. Are you Captain Sean O'Brien? I suppose you're a challenger. You aim to go after Maplewhite. I tells you I was with Maplewhite. Two days out at sea, we was lost in an unnatural fog bank. We grounded upon this uncharted island. Giant reptiles. Captain O'Brien, I never want to see you again. You needn't worry. You'll never see anyone again. That box you've got is flour. It goes in the galley. What's your name? Uh, Browning, sir. Sam Browning. Belly good day for a cricket match. In fact, it's a belly good day for just about anything. You know, these belly good days can turn into belly bad days in a matter of hours. Well, that's Lord Summerlee, if you hadn't guessed. Well, hello there. Hello there, sailor. My name is Browning. Sam Brown, but you can call me Sam. I think I'll just call you Mr. Browning. H have it your way. Say, how about we go to my cabin and have a drink and, uh, who knows? Will you get your arm off of me? I think you're I'm doing, handmade. sailor. Browning, what the hell are you doing here? You forget. I quit my job at the paper. Only one reporter my eye. Well, there's no reason I can't go on as a crew member on this ship. Why, I ought to... I'd like to see a try. What's going on here? This gentleman was bothering a lady. He's right, Uncle George. Oh, you were, were you? Now wait, listen to my side. You haven't got a side. If I ever catch you bothering her again, I'll report you to your superiors. Rat! Everything happens to me. If he causes either of you any more trouble, just tell me. Thank you, sir. Oh, Ed, thank you so much. You're just wonderful. Yeah? Well, good night. Good night. Today's our scene was lost. Awesome. The captain says we may end up in the drink. Make mine a scotch and soda. There's a small pond just beyond those trees that will provide us with fresh water. I could go for a gin and tonic myself. Well, I don't think that's Father, a good idea. Speaking of the this pond, would be a great may experience I just for you. I've... I feel so yuck. Well, I don't think that's a good you idea. You bring swim togs. I think it will be all right. Summerly, you've missed the point entirely. In retrospect, I realize that wandering about an uncharted island alone is rather daft. But I was young and sassy in those days, and I suspected that Mr. Malone would not be far behind. Mr. Malone! Thank you for looking after me. What's that? What a paper this will make. Excuse me, Professor. Oh, 
What do you make of this? Looks like some sort of civilized remnant. Oh, Captain? Yes, sir. This was found in the woods. It could lead us to Maple One. It's a large artifact. Yes, it's made of stone and wood. What do you think it is, Professor? It's an idol of some sort, and the wooden marker is a sign from Maple White. Well, oh, there appears to be ancient Sumerian Celtic ruins. Well, what do you make of this? Some sort of temple, I think. Evidence of some lost civilization, no doubt. This is exactly what Maple White was looking for. And we've found it, by Jingo. I'll go in first. I think we had better all stay together. This is not a cave at all. Merely an entrance to a hidden ravine. Carved from a volcanic tube. Oh, look, a watch. I do pawn this. Hmm. M.W. Maple White. This calls for closer observation. Look. Oh, good lord. Poor Maple White. Perhaps his diary will give us a clue as to what happened. Challenger was right about that volcano. A wounded beast is a dangerous thing. Can it be helped in any way? If we could only get it back to London. How about it, man? Piss off. White's theory had been proven beyond doubt, but we could only guess as to the fate of George Challenger and the others. It seems a high price to pay. Summoning an army went straight away to the Royal Albert Hall. With him were Times reporter Edward Malone and His Grace's daughter, the lovely socialite and explorer Elaine Summerlee. They began to doubt that we had even been to the island. So, for my father, and my Uncle George, and my dear Edward, I, Lady Elaine, intend on returning to that island to reclaim the family name. As soon as I finish my dusting, I am going back to that island, and I will make discoveries. I'm